ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಮ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದ ಏಟೀನ್ತ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಕ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಅನ್ ಓವರ್ ವ್ಯೂ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಚತುರ್ದಶ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸ್ಥಾನಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೇದಾಂಗಾಸ್ now we have been discussing about the upangas of vedas here we have uh, discussed about nyaya darshana then vaisheshika darshana then sankhya darshana today we are taking a uh, just a minute i don't know what has happened here there some lines okay so on okay. ah. so uh among the darshanas uh today we are going to take up yoga the darshana yoga was propounded by rishi patanjali and here uh, what is the uniqueness of yoga sutras it is uh, it lies in the fact that they take the primary act of looking at the world as a as the very foundation of uh, yoga darshana it is a vision of reality you can say so the act of seeing uh, itself reveals the nature of the existential situation as a nature of uh, as a trinity of the seer dratta then uh that which is seen drishya then it's a vision then yoga the word yoga is derived from the root uh, yuj yujyate anena iti yoga so fundamentally it means union or to join together or to yoga you can say and if you look at bhagavad gita samatvam yoga uchyate evenness of mind is called yoga and it also says yoga ha karma kaushalam yoga is the skill in the performance of actions that is why if you look at e- the heading of each chapter of bhagavad gita it will be sankhya yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga karma sanyasa yoga so there is a skill in whatever you do do it skillfully then if you look at the yoga sutras of patanjali rishi patanjali it is yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha so it is the restraint of the uh, mental modifications actually mind is uh, terribly active all the time so yoga is nothing but restraint showed by the mind then um, if you look at uh, the vedic and upanishadic references of yoga rishi 
ಶ್ಯಾವಾಶ್ವ ಆತ್ರೇಯ ಹೂ ರಿ ಹೂ ದ ಮಂತ್ರ ದ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿಚ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯೋಗ ವಾಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸೇಸ್ ಯುಂಜತೆ ಮನೌತ ಯುಂಜತೆ ಧಿಯ ವಿಪ್ರಾಹ ವಿಪ್ರಸ್ಯ ಬೃಹತ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಸೊ ದೇ ಯೋಗ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗ ದೇ ಯೋಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದೇ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿವ್ ವೈಸಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ then uh, if we look at the kathopanishad uh, kathopanishad uh, many of us are uh, familiar with the story of yama uh, the conversation between yama dharma raja and nachiketa so what happens vajashravas uh, was a rishi who uh, donated everything uh, uh, whatever was there Uh, with him he donate he kept donating everything and uh, he was uh, donating some useless cows which cannot give uh, milk or which are uh, which are of no use to anybody such cows were being donated by him uh, to poor brahmins that time nachiketa who was such a young boy he uh, questions his father uh, father to whom are you donating me so the fa- uh, father ignores his questions uh, initially then he gets angry uh, because the kid keeps pestering him so he says i am donating you to yamadharma raja now the boy is very serious now he immediately oh um, accepts that his father um, really means to send him to yama dharma raja when the boy um, prepares himself to travel that time uh, the father feels so bad and he says no no uh, um, it was a slip of tongue it's okay please don't go but the boy doesn't listen because he wants to uh, uh, he wants his father to be respected by everybody so uh, he feels that he has a duty to uh, fulfill his uh, father's wish so he goes to yamadharma raja there uh, at that time yamadharma raja is not there he has gone somewhere and this boy had to wait for uh, uh, two days and three nights something like that then when yamadharma raja comes back till then the boy doesn't eat anything doesn't drink water also such a pious boy and uh, uh, when yamadharma uh, comes back he asks him oh, um, uh, please ask for some boons i uh, i want to give you uh, something because you have waited uh, so long the boy says uh, i want to know the truth about death how to conquer death that is what the boy asks so yama dharma is uh, uh, giving all sorts of uh, um, um what do you call he tells the he offers so many uh, pleasures so many kingdoms and so, uh, long lives such things whatever comes to uh, whatever is possible everything he wants to give to the boy but the boy refuses i have come with a purpose i want to know the truth that's all so the the so thus that way uh, the conversation between yama dharma raja and nachiketa it is uh, really extraordinary for such a small boy so much of focus hmm? then uh, coming back to kathopanishad this what yeah, here what they discuss is the uh, contemplation with a concentrated mind weaned from all external objects on the atma hmm? uh, this atma is ancient 
it is very hard to see it is lodged in the innermost recess located in intelligence and seated amidst miserable surroundings the intelligent man renounces joy and grief the person who understands the true nature of atma he will never grieve he will never uh, feel joyous about worldly matters that is what it means then this firm holding back of the senses when uh, a person is able to uh, find a balance that is known as yoga so one should become watchful as this uh, keeps coming and going that is what this uh, talks about and if you look at bhagavad gita each of the chapters so all of them are raja yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga sankhya yoga um, all yogas only hmm? then um, coming to this uh, patanjali excuse excuse me ma'am yes um, we can kindly go back to the last slide yeah so what what does it sentence mean in this paragraph contemplating with a concentrated mind if uh -huh. i see the line number 4 ah uh -huh. seated amidst miserable surroundings i mean what does this phrase mean in this see, uh, line see see what happens is when uh, when um, actually uh, what we uh, generally do is we get involved in all the material um, activities object uh, object activity yes yes activities basically objects also and uh, uh, this atma which is inside us that is uh, we are unable to uh, meet that atma yeah certainly huh. neither it, we huh. can see it not it is perceptible yes. by any other means yes so what it is saying is contemplating with a concentrated mind that focus should be there focus should be there for what for what to mm -hmm. look what? at the, to look at that atma so basically you are saying i mean uh, what uh, the, all the rishi munis uh, yes. achieve through contemplation and yoga and meditation yes, yes. i mean uh, you can't see it uh, i mean it's beyond anything yes. it is not affected by any of the senses or uh, sense yes. organs of humans mm. so it can only be uh, perceived without yes. uh, any of the um, i mean uh, touch and uh, whatever yes yes And, so, but uh, I mean, uh, uh, are you are you saying, ma'am, if I understood right, uh -huh. that amidst miserable surroundings means the atma is uncomfortable, the way we operate ourselves and our objects and uh, desires and all that? Are you saying that? No, no, no. It is no. Uh, see, contemplating with a concentrated mind that we have to apply that uh, how to uh, um, uh, look, uh, how to search for that atma contemplation. No, that is fine. Okay. I'm, I am happy uh, with that. I mean, that I understand. Uh, We I missed the miserable surroundings. Which are miserable surroundings? Are we creating those? Yes. Uh, see okay. what happens. This atma is covered by yes, the impressions. Layers. We uh, keep on adding. Uh, we yes. keep watching. Nowadays, if we watch movies, there is so much of violence uh, depicted, uh, picturized. So yeah. what happens? Whatever our eyes see, everything mm. is entering inside. we mm -hmm. may feel we are not affected but there is a gradual uh, the, the some um, covering uh, would develop uh, yes. as we keep on progressing in that uh, by watching or by yeah, yeah. reading some nonsense uh, no, like no, i totally agree human mind is you know totally uh -huh. impacted by the external objects yes. Uh, and remains focused on yes. that more uh, but uh, yeah uh, i am still not clear on what is miserable surrounding means yes we, it is great no yeah yeah it is seated inside but mm. outside we create so much of uh, uh, covering so oh. ha that way what happens uh, that uh, miserable surroundings we have to remove with oh, our so. effort like you are written here correctly raj in the innermost recess Yeah. In a more recess, means external uh, layers uh, are the ones which are surrounding the which yes. are 
Uh, yes. Uncomfortable, miserable. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. I got it. Okay. Hmm? So, um, if uh, uh, we look at the Yoga Sutras of Rishi Patanjali, it is, uh, first thing is, it is an Astika Darshana. Hmm? Uh, we have Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Sankhya, Yoga, Puru, Mimamsa and Uttara Mimamsa. Yoga uh, has uh, uh, Rishi uh, Patanjali compiled yogic practices and philosophy into a simple framework. So what happened? Till now, the uh, Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Sankhya, mm -hmm. they were able to identify that uh, the uh, uh, dukkha, uh, whatever um, uh, um, things that affect our progress, spiritual progress, they were able to identify those things. Here, there is a clear framework of how to achieve that uh, um, spiritual attainment, how to attain that. So here, uh, what happens? Uh, he talks about uh, uh, 196 Yoga Sutras uh, he has given us. And um, what is important is, in the last 150 years, there is a, a, a way the yoga practices have evolved uh, uh, in response to the needs of the time, we can say. Then, um, this is a science actually. This is also a science. Uh, it re it uh, uh, talks about four uh, 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 four adhyayas. First one is samadhi pada. Second one is sadhana pada. Third one is vibhuti pada, and fourth one is kaivalya pada. So, uh, if we look at this samadhi pada. It talks about uh, the spiritual uses of concentration and uh, focuses on what is yoga, what are the mental deviations and all those things. And uh, there is uh, um, how to, it also talks about how to remove the mental deviations. We keep on uh, going in search of uh, material things. So how to draw ourselves uh, to the inner fold that is being uh, discussed in the uh, uh, chapters. Then uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, Vibhuti Pada. It talks about uh, there are actually uh, eight uh, limbs, eight uh, angas, Ashtanga Yoga Desi. So the first uh, five come under sadhana pada, yama, niyama, asana, pranayama and pratyahara. Then vibhuti pada talks about dharana, dhyana and samadhi. Then kaivalya pada talks about liberation and enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. Then uh, the sadhana pada and vibhuti pada together, they help in uh, uh, going to that spiritual path. And uh, if we look at the uh, Prathama Adhyaya, first chapter, Samadhi Pada, there uh, he talks about uh, yoga, um, uh, fivefold vrittis, then vritti nirodha, uh, nirodha, how to uh, remove those obstacles, you can say. Then how to go towards Samadhi and all those things. And the first sutra is Atha Yoga Anushasanam. So what is this uh, uh, Atha Yoga Anushasanam? So Anushasanam is, uh, has uh, that uh, Shas Dhatu. Shas Anushishtav is the Dhatu. It has a prefix Anu. Uh, Shas means to teach or to instruct like that. Anu is to uh, go along or follow uh, like that uh, we, we get the meaning. Thus, yoga is to go along with the teachings of yoga. 
Now, Atha. Why this Atha here? It means now. Hmm? Uh, it means there was something before this uh, Yoga Anushas, before discussing about this Yoga Anushas. What could be that uh, something? It means uh, that it demands a total break with those activities activities which do not help in mind regulation. So the second sutra says yoga chitta vritti nirodha. So here vrit means to choose. Then nirodha, rudh dhatu, to obstruct, to arrest or to stop. Uh, here nirodha, ni is the upasarga prefix. It means slowing down. Thus, nirodha means slowing down of the choice, making movement of the mind. Then, uh, if we compare the mind to a wooden wheel, which keeps uh, moving, rotating, hmm? as it continues to receive a push from behind, same way, this mind, which is like that wooden wheel, this also keeps uh, uh, moving so long as the man uh, chooses uh, to uh, continue with his afflictions, um, uh, which is a push from behind. Something keeps uh, adding to our uh, wishes and uh, we keep on uh, um, moving in different directions. Then it, uh, the third sutra says, Tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam. So conditioned by the past, man tends to see through his experience. And this experience is egocentric. So what happens? Uh, we actually forget about the real purpose of this existence. And we go beyond that vritti sarupyam itaratra. We slip from the existential seeing into uh, that choosing which our mind wants to choose. Hmm? And we land uh, in that vritti sarupya, generating a lot of tensions, conflicts, miseries, chaos, whatever you want to call it. Then... If we uh, look at uh, these four sutras, they give us the very quintessence of yoga. They tell us about the basic requirements of the discipline that is yoga, yoga anushasanam. Then, when we look at the uh, next uh, few sutras, here, vrittayaha, Panchatayaha klishta aklishtaha. So, this uh, every movement of the mind uh, 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 or the arising of any ripple on the still water of the mind. See what happens when water is still, there is no movement. If we add a small pebble, if we throw a pebble immediately, that water keeps. Uh, so much of uh, ripples we can see. Same way, this mind, when it tries to um, stabilize that time, if any activity happens, and immediately it jumps with uh, creating so many ripple, ripple kind of effects. And this is called vritti. So this uh, vritti is uh, mind in interaction. This vritti is of five types. Pramana, Viparyaya, Vikalpa, Nidra and Smriti. So this pramana, we keep, uh, um, uh, we keep giving proof for everything. No? So this pramana demands proofs for the validity of any statement. This vritti, what happens? It remains limited 
to the understanding of the physical nature of the world. At times, it fails to see the fact that no world view could be valid unless the nature of the right relationship, the relationship between this observer, the person who is observing and the, that which is being observed is discovered. Many times it, it is uh, individual uh, experience. That is what it is uh, trying to say. So uh, next uh, vritti is viparyaya. This is a vritti which has enormous influence on the mind. To describe people as Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, or uh, Indians, uh, outsiders, whatever you want to. So this also creates a lot of, uh, uh, it has a lot of influence on our uh, human mind. Then Vikalpa, uh, words such as God, religion, all those things, they appear to conjure images which uh, in fact have no foundation in the objective world. Okay. Then we have uh, this uh, Nidra. So Nidra uh, is also a Vritti because sleep is a slumbering consciousness you can see. Experiencing the absence, Abhava of all things experienced in the work, waking state. So what happens, uh, uh, it is the absence of objects experienced in the waking state means uh, in Nidra also different uh, vrittis or um, different impressions uh, get added. Then Smriti, if we look at Smriti, Smriti is what? It is a record of the past experiences. So since every experience is an egoistic, uh, egocentric response to what is being seen, it is a product of the built-in choice making propensity. So uh, what happens when we see somebody? That person might have done something wrong to us in the past. But when we see that person, immediately we forget that uh, it that something happened in the past, uh, but that um, anger or uh, that um, sadness by looking at the, that person immediately crops up. That which exper which was experienced uh, while going through that uh, suffering, so that again and again keeps uh, adding to our. Uh, um, wrong, uh, whatever sheath. Then, uh, if we look at the uh, next sutra, that is Abhyasa Vairagya Abhyam Tan Nirodhaha. Here, vrittis are of two kinds. Uh, they are uh, painful and painless. So, they become painful when uh, we identify ourselves with the experience. Identification is entangled with the vrittis. So we keep on adding, uh, feeling sad again and again. We feel so angry again and again about the same person or the same uh, whatever happened very long ago. It keeps repeating itself and uh, it becomes an entanglement. So the process of slowing down and eventual stopping of vrittis becomes possible through abhyasa and vairagya. So tan uh, nirodha. How do we stop this? Uh, whatever uh, these vrittis, it is possible with Abhyasa and Vairagya. Slowing down and eventually stopping. We should force ourselves not to feel bad or uh, upset, not to be angry. Like that, we have to 
control our mind. Then uh, that gradual uh, disentanglement uh, helps in uh, a state where the memory of past experiences starts disappearing. So here, uh, the absence of vrittis continues for a while. Then there is an interval uh, which is called uh, sthiti, standstill state. You are there without uh, feeling good or bad or any not having any feelings. There is a calmness inside. This uh, generates some kind of uh, energy. This energetic interest in sthiti is abhyasa. Then what happens? Persistence in abhyasa results in loss of craving for all experiences of the past. This state is called vairagya. Then uh, when we go to the second chapter, that is Sadhana Pada. Here, uh, this chapter talks about the nature of Kleshas. Here we have Avidya, Asmita, Raga, Dvesha, Abhinivesha, Kleshaha. So, Avidya, what is Avidya? It is lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom in what? In uh, spiritual progress we can say. Then asmita, sense of egoism. Uh, always me first. I am the, I am something great. Like uh, such, uh, yeah, I, everyone should respect me. I should do this. I should acquire this. That kind of uh, uh, mental condition, sense, hmm? That is called asmita. Then raga. Asmita, how you split it? Uh, asmi iti. That state. Hmm? Aham asmi. I am there. I am here. Hmm? I should be there. That is what? Hmm? That is asmita. Then raga dvesha abhinivesha. Raga is uh, desire, passion attachment, whatever you want to call it. Then dvesha is aversion, aversion to somebody or something or some experiences. Then abhinivesha, clinging to life, then self-preservation, then these things, all these things uh, add up to our misery, cause of suffering. Then uh, next sutra says avidya kshetram uttaresham prasupta tanu vichinno daranam. So what happens? Lack of wisdom is the field kshetram hmm? where the other causes of suffering germinate. So what happens once we are uh, angry with somebody? We try to influence others. See, uh, he, he, he behaved like this uh, with me. So you also be careful. So that person is also affected. Then that person will do something. And uh, it keeps adding to that uh, um, ragadvesha, whatever. So the, this is the avidya kshetra. It becomes a kshetra field for uh, whatever... Uh, uh, additions we are making for all wrong deeds. Wrong or right, actually, whatever, even good deeds also, we keep uh, praising ourselves. Oh, I am great. I am doing this. I am doing that. That kind of. Then, uh, here, uh, Avidya Kshetram Uttaresham Prasupta Tanu Vichinna Udara. Uh -huh. So, it is Prasupta. It, what happens when it is dormant? Even if it is activated, even if it is interrupted or uh, weakened, whenever, in whatever condition, it continues to trouble us. 
देन अनित्य शुचि दुखानात्मसु नित्य शुचि सुखात्म ख्याति रविद्या सो लैकिंग दिस विजडम वन मिस्टेक्स दैट विच इज इम्परमनेंट दैट विच इज टेम्पररी इम्प्योर दैट विच इज इम्प्योर दैट विच इज डिस्ट्रेसिंग और दैट विच इज एम्प्टी ऑफ सेल्फ फॉर परमानेंस सो वंस दैट काइंड ऑफ फील्ड वी डेवलप अराउंड अस व्हाट हैपेंस वी थिंक दैट इट इज रियल एंड फॉरगेट अबाउट द एक्चुअल परमानेंट प्योर हैप्पी सेल्फ happy uh, that uh, happy state we forget about that uh, we lose uh, that contact actually then drug darshan shaktyoh ekatmata ekatmata eva kasmita so the sense of i aham ascribes selfhood to pure awareness by identifying it with senses then here uh, sukhanushayi ragah dukhanushayi dveshah so attachment uh, is a residue of pleasure or uh, you can say pleasant experience you can hmm, call it then dukhanushayi dveshah aversion is a residue of suffering then swarasavahi विदुषः अपी तथा रूढः अभिनिवेशः क्लिंगिंग टू लाइफ इज इंस्टिंक्टिव एंड सेल्फ परपेचुएटिंग इवन फॉर द वाइस आवर एक्चुअल पर्पस एज ह्यूमन बीइंग्स इज टू मूव इन द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ दैट विल बी फॉरगॉटन वंस वी गेट इन गेट एंटैंगल्ड इन ऑल दीस क्लेशस मिसरीज so uh, this is what is being talked about uh, by rishi patanjali in this uh, sadhana pada and here uh, this uh, uh, table shows us what are kleshas how can they be destroyed how to uh, why should kleshas be destroyed and all those things he discusses in detail then if we go to the uh, actual ashtanga yoga yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhaya ashtau angani so the uh, yama is the external discipline niyama is internal discipline asana everybody knows posture of the body pranayama also everybody knows breath uh, regulation of the breath then dharana is concentration dhyana is meditative absorption then um, samadhi is the integration so what are yamas here uh, what happens is ahimsa satyam asteya brahmacharya aparigraha they are the um, five external disciplines uh, one needs to practice if he wants to go in the spiritual path these are the uh, i'll repeat अहिंसा सत्यम अस्तेयम ब्रह्मचर्य देन अपरिग्रह अहिंसा एवरीबॉडी नोस इट इज अहिंसा प्रतिष्ठायाम तत्सन्निधौ वैरत्यागः सो नॉट हार्मिंग एनीबॉडी और इवन इन आवर from our heart also we should not uh, curse or feel bad about anybody that is ahimsa and satyam satya pratishthayam 
kriya phala shrayatvam so what happens satya always speaking truth then asteya asteya pratishthayam sarva ratnota sthanam so uh, what happens uh, not stealing and uh, stealing means not uh, carrying some objects from some place or anything uh, without informing but uh, not even um, um, one should not indulge in um, uh, taking credit for uh, whatever somebody else has done that is also uh, some kind of chaurya only uh, like uh, Uh, thieving only so asteya that should be practiced then brahmacharya brahmacharya uh, is uh, celibacy and uh, then uh, aparigraha not being acqui acquisitive all the time acquiring things uh, more and more more uh, that should not be there if one follows these five rules the they are uh, yama and uh, they help effectively in removing uh, uh, one's uh, um, negative aspects and helps him in the uh, path of spirituality then ete jati desha kala samayanav chinnah sarvabhaumah mahavratam it is like a uh, mahavrata hmm? uh, great penance uh, like that one has to practice this then um, these universal transcendenting uh, transcending then uh, birth era circumstance everything these constitute the great vow vrata of yoga then comes the niyamaha so this niyamaha what is this it is the refining behavior integrating noble qualities there are shaucha santosha tapah swadhyayah ishvara pranidhanani niyamaha so shaucha I'll repeat shaucha santosha tapah स्वाध्याय ईश्वर प्रणिधान सो वाट इज दौचा स्वांग जुगुप्सा पर असंसर्ग इट इज प्यूरीफिकेशन ऑफ बाडी एंड द इनर शौचा सो हि टाक्स अबउट सत्वशुद्धि सौमन से जयात्मदर्शन योग योग्यवानिचा दट इज वाट हि से देन सतोषा सतोष मीन आक्चुअली दर इज कंटेटमेंट इन वाट एवर वन डर वन रिसेव ईवन इफ संबडी रिसेव वेरी लिटल फ्रम अदर्स देन आलो इफ हि इज एबल टू फील हैपी कंटेटेड that uh, that uh, that is uh, kind of niyama then kaya indriya siddhihi ashuddhikshayat tapasah so this intense uh, kaya indriya siddhi that is tapas then swadhyayat ishta devata samprayogah so self study study about our own self where we are going wrong where we are making mistakes how to correct ourselves it is it helps a lot then samadhi siddhi ishvara pranidhana orientation towards the ideal of pure awareness the ultimate reality towards that how do we go by practicing the uh, yamas and niyamas then comes the concept of <clears throat> and here if you look uh, here this uh, yama the art this is an art actually the art of removing and creating habits 
we if we observe ourselves we know so many uh, negative aspects are there within us even if the other person is not able to uh, see the negativity in us a negative uh, uh, habits or uh, the unwanted things in us we ourselves can help ourselves to remove unwanted things from us and integrate noble qualities <clears throat> so this is an art of removing and creating habits so they are both complementary to each other then uh, <clears throat> here if you look at uh, this thoughts actions have how we form hmm? Uh, we frame our destiny actually. Hmm? We sow a thought and reap an act. So there is a thought. Initially, there would be nothing. We interact with somebody. Suddenly, um, there is a thought that hey, he is behaving something different. So accordingly, we act. And we sow an act and reap a habit. It becomes a habit. Now, we sow a habit and rape a character. So gradually there is a character formation in us. So we think, oh, uh, this person is bad. Uh, we forget about all his good qualities, whatever uh, good things he has done, everything would be forgotten. All the time we would be looking at his, that uh, whatever, uh, some small mistake he has done, that will be magnified. Now, who are we? We are that negative person and we sow a character and reap a destiny. Thus, our destiny is designed. So, uh, it is always possible to refine ourselves by removing unwanted habits and integrating noble qualities. Then comes asana. It is the physical uh, posture. What is this uh, asana doing here actually? It is sthira sukham asanam. It is that sitting position which is steady and comfortable. So uh, why was it need for these asanas? Because uh, if one wants to ponder over the Atma. He has to sit quietly, close his eyes and forget about his surrounding activities and this needs a comfortable posture. That's how these asanas were discovered. Then, Prayatna Shaitilyananta Samapattibhyam so, this asana comes through relaxing efforts and allowing consciousness to merge with the infinite. Then this has dvanva anabhigata. So, when what happens, uh, we always have this heat and cold, pleasure, pain, sukha, dukha, icha, dvesha, all dualities. So, uh, through asana, we become free from the impact of the dualities. Then <coughs> there are many um, uh, Hatha Yoga practices where um, um, we see that <coughs> uh, Rishi uh, uh, Swatma Rama, he was the first one who discussed about uh, Hatha Yoga and uh, he uh, brought the book Hatha Yoga Pradipika. So this asana, this word comes from uh, as dhatu, uh, which means to sit. And uh, this asana uh, is um, for uh, the purpose of meditation. Then there are some other postures also which help one to uh, uh, sit, uh, sit. Uh, and some uh, sometimes this uh, Padmasana is also um, used 
to sit for meditation. Then, uh, tasmin sati. So, when we come to pranayama, so what uh, is pranayama doing here? Here, <coughs> tasmin sati, shvasa prashvasa yoho, gati vichedaha pranayama. So, um, if we look at the pranayama, uh, we have these five koshas in our body. First one is Annamaya Kosha. Uh, I think everybody knows about it. Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya and then Anandamaya Koshas. This Annamaya Kosha is the food sheath, you can say, which is for our survival needs. The physical body which is made up of matter, skin, bones, muscles, organs, etc. Then Pranamaya Kosha, it is the energy sheath. It is made up of five uh, pancha prana, five vayus. Um, that is uh, Hridhi uh, uh, Pranavayu, Apanavayu, um, <coughs> Vya uh, this I have uh, uh, explained in the previous class also. So it is the flow of energy for life, uh, breathing, digestion, excretion, blood circulation and uh, all those activities. Then there is this Manomaya portion that is quite, um, uh, it is... Uh, the mind, hmm? uh, mind region, what happens, there are feelings, there are thoughts, there are emotions, there are memories and imaginations are there. All these are contained in that sheath. This kosha helps in our cognitive functions. Then we have this Vijnanamaya kosha. Vijnanamaya kosha helps in knowledge, wisdom, uh, and it sets us apart from animals. This is a key to our spirit, spiritual progress. Vijnanamaya Kosha. Then we have <coughs> Anandamaya Kosha, which is the blissful sheath, you can say. It is responsible for our spiritual con contentment and liberation. And if you look at pranayama, it helps a great deal in reaching such a stage where we are able to go in, in that direction. Then, <clears throat> and uh, some of the experiences I have had, um, uh, like <clears throat> they talk about this uh, kundalini. Uh, and all those things, some uh, very, some, uh, it was a scary experience actually. Um, uh, if we do excessive uh, pranayama, it uh, takes us to a different world. So we should be careful while doing pranayama also. Everything is true. Uh, whatever is said in these uh, uh, texts, it is there in our body. First thing is that. Then, uh, when we look at the uh, prana, uh, pranayama aspect, once perfection in the meditation posture has been achieved, then we can practice regulation of the incoming and outgoing flow of the breath. And uh, uh, this helps in, uh, uh, in um, the energetic system uh, in uh, to be in tune uh, in harmony with the universal energy. Then, Bahya Bhyantara Stambha Vrittihi Desha Kala Sankhya Bhihi Paridrishtaha Dirgha Sukshmaha This pranayama has three aspects. One is outward flow or inhalation, uh, exhalation, then inward flow or inhalation and the absence of uh, both. That is called kumbhaka. 
कुंभक आर रेचक वाट एवर यू प्रैक्टिस एंड इट ईज टू बी प्रैक्टिस बै रेग्युलेन इट शुड बी रेग्युलेटेड बै प्लेस टाइम एंड नंबर and the breathing becomes slow and subtle then bahya abhyantara vishaya kshepi chaturtha there is a fourth type of pranayama which transcends the inward and outward pranayamas it appears effortless and occurs during concentration so uh, when we are fully focused that time it automatically that um, breathing follows a different um, uh, aspect actually it's a different aspect then tatah kshiyate prakasha varanam as a result the veil uncovering uh, the veil covering the inner light diminishes so this atma is swayam prakasha so what happens when we practice all these things yama niyama asana and pranayama that time that avaranam that wheel which is which has covered the atma the great light that wheel is gradually diminishing and one is able to see uh, that uh, the actual uh, uh, swarupa of that atma then dharana the fifth one is dharana dharana sucha योग्यता मनस नौ द मैंड बिकम्स फिट फॉर कॉन्सट्रेशन आर् धारण दस वेन् वि प्राक्टीस यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम एंड प्रत्याहार दे मैंड बिकम्स फिट फॉर धारण नौ स्वयं so yes. inward and outward ka beech mein there is transition that i understand uh-huh. but what is this 2.51 fourth yes type? yes uh, 2.5 and uh, see till 2.50 you uh, you are uh, um, uh, with your efforts you are uh, practicing that uh, pranayama that uh, um, uh, taking um, 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 inhalation uh, exhalation inhalation and exhalation yes yeah. and here what happens in 2.51 um it it has become automatic there is no need for you to be alert oh i have to take breath in i have to leave breath out i have to mm-hmm. count uh, so many uh, so many uh, counts i keep no so oh. all those things would be gone so it is automatic the, the next body, stage next stage of 2.5 uh, yes, uh, yes it is automatic the body on its own carries the uh, uh, exhalation and inhalation so should i understand that uh, going from 2.5 uh-huh. zero to 2.53 is in sequence uh-huh. one after another yes giving yes. the status of yes see your here effortless. yes here uh, we have uh, uh, we uh, t- uh, usually yoga teachers say no uh, take five counts uh, breathe yeah, yeah. in huh? then a uh, hold then breathe out they keep saying and what happens here with practice what happens it is automatic there is no need for anybody to guide you then after that 2.52 here what happens with gradual uh, practice uh, there is a uh, that avarana whatever avarana is there whatever we is there around that uh, atma that it uh, dissipates the aura the aura that you call it 
So what do we call aura? No, no. Aura is something positive energy, no? Okay. Uh, this is some, this wheel is, it, uh, we are not able to see that Atma, that uh, um, usually in, uh, when we go to this uh, uh, Uttara Mimamsa, there they talk a lot about this Atma, Swayam Prakasha, it is like uh, Koti Surya, all those things. But that experience we only can have uh, when we practice all these things. Oh, so got it. So all those uh, layers covering the atma uh, diminish. Yes, and then, they diminish. Then yes. You, huh. you what happens? Uh, we have acquired so much of uh, um, uh, unwanted things. No, they all uh, cover that atma. So uh, when we want to, um, when we practice all these things, those uh, things get removed because we are able to control our mind. We don't add anything uh, further and gradually we, we are uh, getting weaned away from all those uh, activities then the art uh, this atma uh, on its own it uh, reveals to us so just to uh, square up this discussion mm -hmm. uh, if i may ask have you come across anybody who has reached this status stage yeah okay uh, actually, only once I had this uh, experience, it was uh, terrific, actually. You yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have oh. had this and uh, 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 it is so bright and uh, you won't be able to open your eyes. So, so bright. Open, open what? Oh, you can't open your eyes. It is so bright, actually. Oh, uh, uh, So, it's a very rare experience I have had. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so it will take years probably to reach. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes years of sadhana. Time. Yeah. Sadhana yeah. and uh, what we have to do is uh, uh, we should not take anything negative inside. First thing uh, that we have to practice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so then uh, here uh, <clears throat> Desha Bandha oh, Yes. Uh, here, what happens is Pratyahara is the ability to divert the flow of attention or the five sense organs inwards. Okay. Then what happens? <coughs> uh, gathering towards, actually what happens is uh, uh, Hatha Yoga practitioners, they don't pay attention to Pratyahara. Uh, what happens? Uh, it's a turning point actually. Uh, uh, physical activities, doing asanas, moving your hands, legs, whatever, uh, they may make your body flexible to uh, sit and meditate for hours together. But unless uh, we um, give importance to that inner self, we will be only doing exercise and nothing else. So, Pratyahara is the ability to turn the attention inwards. Hmm? Pratyahara. Then, the third chapter is Vibhuti Pada. Here, uh, uh, Rishi Patanjali talks about the eight petaled flower. Hmm? Then uh, here, <coughs> Desha Bandha Chittasya Dharana. Then Tatra Pratyaya Ekatanata Dhyanam. Tadeva Arthamatra Nirbhasam Swarupa Shunyam Iva Samadhi. So these three are put together and called samyamaha. Trayam ekatra samyamaha. So uh, the first five limbs, that is yama, niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, they uh, have their own purpose, but together they help us in refining our thoughts, refining our actions, Refining our body posture, 
and developing energy and including the breath and direct our senses inwards to the field of consciousness. Then uh, this dharana, <clears throat> dhyana and samadhi, uh, the mind is held within the emptiness of space that is called dharana. So mind is controlled, that is what it means. That emptiness is uh, an emptiness which is devoid not only of vrittis like vikalpa, nidra, smriti, etc. But it is also an emptiness of the objects with which they tend to get identified. So there is nothing here. When uh, you close your eyes, nothing should come to your uh, mind uh, to make it uh, active. So, this dharana is a state in which sthiti and uh, kriya uh, are uh, at a quiet uh, state. Then, tatra pratyayekatanata dhyanam. When all other experiences merge in one experience, of the total emptiness of uh, space, time comes to a halt. So there is uh, no, um, you don't uh, observe anything outside here. This extraordinary state of pure empty space uh, is called dhyana or meditation. Then, tadeva artha matra nirbhasam. Svarupa shunyam iva sva samadhihi. When one is established in dhyana, his identity loses all magnitude, all attributes are lost. Then the objective world explodes into a radiant objectivity in its um, existential authenticity. This is samadhi. So at this stage, like uh, we here, uh, we read about uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Vivekananda, and uh, so many great souls who achieved this uh, Samadhi state. Uh, and if we look at Raja Yoga, uh, so Hatha Yoga is forcing yourself and doing these asana and all those things. Raja Yoga, what is this Raja Yoga? This <coughs> dharana, dhyana and samadhi, they constitute Raja Yoga. There is a refinement in the thought process, aligning the flow of intention towards the center. So, uh, like um, dharana also covers the ability to contain, to hold and like a womb, to nurture in the same way that Mother Earth gives birth to trees from seeds that are planted in her soil. There is an unbroken flow towards one thing, one thing that is contained and nurtured in the heart. So heart is the region where this Atma is uh, waiting for us to explore him. That is what uh, we can say. Then by integrating all the limbs of Patanjali's Ashtanga Yoga, the mind can realize its rightful purpose and create the foundation for the mind to come to its original state of infinite potential. So, uh, then here uh, we have uh, this uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. uh, Kaivalya Pada. This uh, Kaivalya Pada talks about nature and man, then man, mind and the world, then freedom and creativity. Freedom from what? Freedom from birth and death cycle. Then there is this Sadhana Chatushtaya Shat Sampati and uh, uh, Shamadamadi Sadhana Sampati. 
So what is Shama? Shama is regulation of mind. Dhamma is control of senses. Uparati, it talks about Uparati. What is this Uparati? It is self-withdrawal from material uh, pursuits. Then Titiksha, it is a state of total contentment. Shraddha, faith, devotion with, uh, in the ultimate. Then Samadhana, state of self-settledness to the goal. Hmm? Then this uh, uh, Shamadamadi Sadhana Sampar leads one to Viveka, Vairagya and Mumukshutva. That is what is depicted in this uh, uh, chart. Then here, uh, uh, shat, uh, Shatka Sampat, they talk about Shat Sampat. That is uh, Shaucha, Santosha, Tapas, Swadhyaya, Ishwara Pranidhana. Again, again and again, they are bringing these things uh, in different ways. Uh, niyamas and uh, if you look at Yama, uh, uh, Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya and uh, Aparigraha. So finally, uh, everything, uh, whatever we practice uh, in the spiritual journey, these are the paths we can take. Then, uh, these are the references actually. Uh, <clears throat> first one is Yoga Sutra, some journal. <clears throat> then, Bhagavad Gita by uh, S. Sarvepali Radha Krishnan. Then Yoga Sutras of Patanjali by P. Y. Deshpande. It's a very good book. If you get uh, somewhere, uh, you should buy this book and uh, go through this. Then Yoga Sutras of Patanjali by I. K. Taimini. Hmm? Then Heartfulness Magazine. Uh, my husband is a practitioner of Heartfulness uh, Meditation. So um, he has uh, um, um, he has been do he when we were in Kuwait uh, before his uh, retirement that time we did one uh, course uh, on uh, Ashtanga Yoga that time uh, we worked uh, on some of the um, uh, sutras uh, these uh, Patanjali sutras. And uh, the, the, some explanation is given in this Heartfulness magazine that also you can refer to. Then uh, this uh, Conquering the Internal Nature, Swami Vivekananda, Raja Yoga. Hmm? Then Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Swatma Rama Swami. Then Yoga Vasishtam. Uh, this is also uh, referred to by many people uh, who want to uh, gr grow in the spiritual journey. Then uh, B.K. Zayanga's Light on Yoga and Light on Pranayama. These books are quite helpful. So you people can uh, go through these if you are interested to read more about yoga. Mahode, huh? are these, um, these Heartfulness magazines, uh, mm -hmm. are they available online? Uh, because uh -huh. it's December 2018 and 17, right? So, uh -huh, yeah, I don't know. I'll ask him and uh, uh, let you know. Uh, because uh, otherwise, uh, uh, I'll ask um, maybe if you give your address, uh, I can ask him to uh, uh, send it to your address. That also he can do. I'll also check online, um, Mahoday. Let mm. me see, you know, if... Uh, um, do they have a website or anything? Yeah, or, yeah, is... yeah. Heartfulness.org, you can... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I will. I shall check for those magazines. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You are given, uh, ma'am, as it is, you are given uh, uh -huh. on top a link and uh -huh. a website. Yes, yes. Sasritdocuments.org. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Is it the same you are referring to? No, no, no. This Sanskrit, uh, Sanskrit.org, uh, it is uh, Sanskrit documents org is a different link. Okay. okay. And what, uh, what, uh, what I am talking about is this heartfulness is written no, here. No, no, I, I saw that. But uh, I thought it's part of that link. 
no 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 uh, okay. uh, content is taken from all these uh, 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 books okay so small question i have uh -huh. is uh, regarding today's class let's say it's about yoga darshana uh -huh. i think macro level high level if i may say so uh -huh. so when you narrated the anecdote of uh, uh, uh -huh. kartha upanishad uh -huh. Uh, so, how in what context that fits into this? You narrated nice. See narrative. here uh, that uh, something about uh, uh, yoga is talked about uh, in uh, Kathopanishad. See, contemplating with a concentrated mind, weaned from all external uh, objects on the Atma. In uh, uh, this a this Atma, which is ancient, hard to see, lodged in the innermost. Raises all those things that is uh, given in Kathopanishad. When Yama is explaining about this Atma to the little boy Nachiketa, then he says all these things. Oh. Because the boy is not diverted, he doesn't yeah, want did. any material things. Yeah, yeah, correct. Hmm. So that time, that. Yeah. Huh, so he is saying all these things about yeah. Atma, how. Uh, how to uh, uh, reach that Atma. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Asto? So here uh, all uh, yoga sutras are given. Um, you people can go through them. <clears throat> uh, any other questions? No, uh, excellent presentation I must say. But uh... Uh, the small characters that you were able to fit in into these uh, slides, uh -huh. I don't know what font they must be. Maybe four or five or three. I do not know. Oh, they're uh -huh. very tiny. The characters, no, the font size I'm talking uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. They're uh -huh. very, very tiny. So I don't know how did you manage to write in those small fonts. Uh, that, those uh, tables, no? Yeah. Couldn't be more than four or five oh, uh, okay. size-wise. Mm -hmm. size. <laughs> It's very, very so, so many things uh, we had to bring it in. So uh, Excellent effort. Thank you. Actually, he puts in more efforts than me. <laughs> I have to say. It's always <laughs> so a team. I only, I only present what he has done. And anyhow. <laughs> As to, uh, so, so we will close the session. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet, Om Shanti 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 Hari Om. Ha, next class, uh, now uh, we have covered these uh, four topics, uh, Nyaya Vaisheshika, Sankhya and Yoga. Uh, would you like to uh, uh, have a revision or uh, do you want me to go to the next topic, Purva Mimamsa? How many more sessions are left? Uh, sessions will continue till Jan end, actually. Okay. Uh, I no, told you had you mentioned no? No, there will be a break in that context. Now. Yes, yes. Uh, only next uh, week, I think. After that, there will be a break. Okay. Hmm? So, you people decide and tell me. So that uh, we will um, have uh, flexibility, whatever you want to do. If you want to uh, do a revision of whatever you have uh, uh, studied these four classes, that also we can do. Otherwise, uh, that revision will be in Jan first week. Uh, my personal opinion is, ma'am, we should do it now because then it will sink in better. Yes, yes. Uh, that is what I too felt because... So many topics are there, no? So many topics, very uh, deep also. Yeah. So if the one revision is that in the high level design, macro level, uh, it'll sink in and uh, you know understanding will be much much better. Yes. If you yes. do with a gap, then all this will be forgotten. Yes. There's too much. Huh. Yes. That's huh? my personal so opinion. okay, then uh, you people prepare uh, and uh, you two people uh, can prepare for one topic. That also you can do for revision. Okay, only four subjects are there, no? Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Sankhya and Yoga. So, two to people, one subject would be ideal. That is what I think. Anyhow, I'll post in the group. Whoever wants to join, they also can join. Hmm? Asto, Samapaya Maha.